today we are traveling on one of the biggest ferry systems in the world. We have spent the last week exploring Washington State from the city of Seattle to the forests of Olympic National Park. But today we're on board BC Ferries, which connects the islands to mainland Canada, carrying over 22 million passengers a year across 47 ports on the west coast of British Columbia. We're on our way to Vancouver Island and are so excited to share the adventures that we have ahead of us. A big welcome to all of our new subscribers. And if you haven't already hit subscribe, please do. It's totally free and we get so excited with every new subscriber joining our community. Let's get into today's video. Good morning from a slightly less glamorous spot than what we've been at for the last couple of days. If you've seen our videos from the last few weeks, you would have seen that we stayed at some pretty beautiful places. But we're on the way to another beautiful place today. So the great thing about staying at that Walmart last night is that it's just a 10 minute drive to the ferry port this morning. We're getting on at the Tassawan port. I think I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm butchering that. And we have to be there an hour early. So it was just nice and close. So just roll out of bed this morning. Head to the ferry and get ready to board. Then turn right onto 52nd Street. In 600 meters, turn right onto British Columbia 17. now on board the ship we had purchased a ticket for Brandon and I and our vehicle and we had put that as an undersized vehicle but unfortunately because of the little rooftop vent on the top of the car it actually counted as being oversized by literally just like a fraction that was so small she said it was just over so if you're gonna be booking the ferry I would suggest if you're like on that cusp of is it over or under just go over just to make sure that you get the ticket because technically we then lost our booking um, but luckily we got there really early like we were there way earlier than we needed to be so we actually ended up being able to get another ticket it was just like a six dollar difference in the ticket um, and got on like the earlier ferry so it was kind of annoying but so it was kind of a blessing in disguise anyway that we couldn't get on the first ferry, but we got on a ferry earlier. So we get an extra hour and a half to cruise around in Victoria and go and get some yum yums and see what's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we we're going to get breakfast on the boat, but the line to get breakfast was crazy. It's still going. Yeah. Anyway, so to book your tickets, we booked online. You can reserve online ahead of time. I think it's cheaper, and there's like a bunch of different ticket options that you can do on the BC Ferry website, or you can get tickets when you're coming onto the ferry as well. You just go into like a reserve section, which is um, what we would have been on, but then we went into a standby section because it was kind of like if the ferry filled up, we wouldn't get onto that ferry. We'd go onto the next ferry. It's a little bit confusing. Just make sure you've got the right ticket, and then you're not going to have any problems. So we know now for when we're coming back off the island that were oversized. It is a bit of a rainy, miserable day today, but still the views along this ferry are so beautiful. It's just like little islands dotted around. We've got Brandon mocking me on the other side of the camera right now. <laughs> you can see some wildlife. <laughs> Someone needs to get him caffeinated and fed soon. <laughs> I'm hungry. I want a coffee. I get a headache. I'm tired. Are we there? I reckon on a like a beautiful sunny day, it would be so nice outside just to like stand out on the deck and like watch all the views go by, the water. Very pretty. Gets me very keen for our cruise. Yeah. to Swartz Bay in Victoria. Well, not in Victoria, in Vancouver Island. I don't know, we'll, we'll learn our bearings once we're there, but it's only an hour and a half, so it's not very long. Um, but the food is very restricted because of COVID. They've got like lots of the food options closed, lots of the amenities are closed. Um, the line, like I said earlier, to get like breakfast was huge. It's actually still a lot. Yeah, so I would suggest bring some snacks on board for the hour and a half if you haven't had breakfast when you're boarding, or just be prepared to like line up if you want to get food on board. Or just stay hungry. Yeah, but try again, and then we're gonna get some breakfast in 
Victoria. Other amenities on board include children's areas, workspaces, heaps of deck space to enjoy those beautiful views, a gift store and plenty of indoor seating options to choose from. So the boat we're on today is the Spirit of Vancouver Island. Um, I've got a few statistics about it here. Don't mind me, just reading. It was built in 94. It's 167 metres long. It can hold 358 vehicles on board the ship. The passenger crew capacity is 2,100 people, which is crazy. There's so many people here. And it can sit at a steady 19.5 knots while it's cruising to where we're going. We're on the prow for some food. I found some double boss on the menu. If you've got any suggestions of where we should eat in Vancouver Island, like anywhere, because we're going to be doing lots of travel on Vancouver Island, let us know in the comments below. And just like that, the one and a half hour was over and we had arrived at port on Vancouver Island. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it and join us again next week. It definitely kind of has the feel that I'm walking down Diagon Alley. Like, where do I buy my watch? Not a start. I was not expecting that at all.